I'm creating a series of videos on YouTube called uh, Workflow for the, for the Classroom, and it is all based around an app called Workflow. And if you watch those videos, they're going to seem really cool, but you may not know what to do. Um, so you want to watch this video as an introduction to Workflow to get acquainted with it. It's a wonderful app. It's like three bucks on the App Store, um, and it's totally worth it. So I'm going to open up Workflow, and what you'll see at first is a tutorial, but what I'm looking at right now are all the workflows that I've created. And what is a workflow? A workflow is simply a series of instructions that my phone can follow. Uh, so for instance, I was getting in the car every night um, and asking my wife, what's the plan? What's your plan? Are you coming home soon? Um, I was sending her a text message. And I realized that since I do this every night, it's a repetitive action and I could make it easier with workflow. I could save some time. So in the top left corner, when I open up this workflow, you'll see a workflow with three actions. Now, all the actions that you can use are over here when you swipe to the left. Um, there's so many different things you can do. You can send data between a whole bunch of different apps. But for now, I have three actions. And the first action is create a piece of text called What's Your Plan? And then put that into a text message that goes to my wife. And then quit the workflow. Three actions. And if I run it, you'll notice it does exactly that. It, it sends a, a message to my wife saying, what's your plan? Um, so what are the applications for the classroom? Um, well, the greatest thing about, one of the greatest things about Workflow is that it is Dropbox compatible. Um, and this, this allows a lot of flexibility and a lot of different options when you're uh, thinking about classroom processes. And a lot of that I'm gonna talk about in a future video. But let's say that I wanted to create a, a workflow that allowed me to capture student work quickly. Okay, so I go to my gear icon. Um, I, I hit that plus button to create a new workflow, and now I hit a, the gear icon, and I name my workflow. Let's call it Capture Student Work. Okay, and I can change the icon color. I can do whatever I want here, um, and now I have a blank workflow. I'm going to call it a normal workflow. I, don't, I haven't used the Today widget or the Action extension very much. Um, but if I dra drag to the left or slide to the left, I have access to all of those actions. So I want to create, I want to capture student work easily. Um, so obviously I need to take a photo. So I'm going to search for an action related to photo. And the one that looks the most um, promising here is take photo. I want to take photos of um, the, the work. So I drag it over to my workflow. And now I have an action. And the action is simply it's going to turn on the camera. It's going to use the back camera, not the front. And it's going to allow me to uh, take some pictures of the student work. Um, I might, uh, I'm going to up this to two photos because there might be a back to the work if they're doing like a worksheet or they're, if they're working on something more artistic, there might be a different angle that I want to get. So I'm going to make it two photos. And then what do I do with those photos? Well, I want them to go to Dropbox. I want them to sync to Dropbox. So I'm going to type in Dropbox and I'm going to say um, save to Dropbox. Okay. And you see that little line that connects those two? That line will not always show up, but when it does, it means that whatever information or data you're getting in the top box is going to flow into that bottom box. Um, and if you hit the gear icon, you'll see some more info. Um, but you can either say, we'll ask where to save it in Dropbox, or really simply, I'll create a path called student work, and that'll be uh, where it collects the new the photos okay it'll save it instead in this uh, student work path um, so let's try it so if I run it um, we're sitting in my studio right now so we'll just pretend that this is student work um, actually I'll take a sheet of paper here and I'll use it as some student work um, it's not very good quality but we'll just go with it okay so I took my two photos and now it's gonna save it to my Dropbox and then it's going to quit the workflow. Now I don't know if this is actually going to work. I haven't. I've never tried this before, um, but we're going to see. Okay, so um, it looks like it worked. So now if I go to my Dropbox app, or if I go to my Dropbox on the computer, I should see a folder called Student Work. Okay, um, and actually it just shows me that I just added this, so I'll look and see. And there it is. Um, a picture of at least the front of it. I don't know where the back of it is, but that's part of the, ah, I see, okay. So within the student work folder, now I see 
those two those pictures um and anytime now that i want to uh, collect student work oh there you go it just took a second to update that's why i didn't see it before every time i want to uh, uh, add new work i just go in here and i can um or i go into my app my workflow app and i can run that workflow app and i can capture the student work now here's the cool thing if i go to this top right gear i can say add to home screen okay and i can pick which icon i want since it's a uh, student work it's pictures i'll look for something that looks kind of like a picture uh, that'll do and uh, it brings up this thing and it asks me to tap this uh, share button and then add it to my home screen when I do that it now has that app on my home screen as if it had as if it was its own app and I have the same thing for the ask Liza plan app if I tap that it'll just run automatically so there are a lot of applications for this and I'm gonna go into more detail later as to um, some more complex ways you can use workflow to do things in your classroom.